All right, so here's a question. Are you a machine? So uh, the answers are yes, no, I'm not sure, something else. So I would suggest pause this video and answer this question to yourself right now. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you paused. Maybe you didn't. Uh, moving forward, here's a similar but slightly different question. Uh, according to Searle, are you a machine? So again, pause and answer. Okay, unpause, welcome back. Uh, so somewhat surprisingly for many people, uh, Searle says, yes, you are a machine. And people often find this sort of confusing. Uh, he spends the entire article arguing that AI cannot be conscious, that a machine uh, or that robots could not think, and then uh, that we're special sort of somehow compared to the robots, the animals at least are special compared to the robots. But then he says, we are machines, we can think. I thought a machine couldn't think. So let's sort of look at what Searle says here. So uh, here is on page 422. He says, uh, could a machine think? The answer is obviously yes. We are precisely such machines. Yes, but could an artifact, a man-made machine, think? Assuming it's possible to produce artificially a machine with a nervous system, neurons with axons and dendrites, and all the rest of it, sufficiently like ours, again, the answer to this question seems to be obviously yes. Uh, and so the thought is, well, uh, what does he mean here? He means that we are basically machines. A machine is sort of an automated thing that moves around on its own, made up of physical stuff, uh, powered by some sort of power source. And we are machines. We're made up of physical stuff, according to Searle. He doesn't believe in souls or anything like this. So um, we're powered by the food that we eat and the water that we drink and sort of we digest that and that we burn that to get calories and we move around. And uh, as a machine, we're able to think. Why? Well, we have a brain and the brain is able to produce uh, consciousness. And so this is a machine that can think. And you can also potentially build other machines that can think, um, as long as you build it with a nervous system, neurons and stuff, um, something like that, you would have a thinking machine. What you can't do is build any old machine that will think. Searle doesn't think a machine built out of like a telephone or something can think. He doesn't think a thermostat can think. An adding machine, he thinks, cannot think. So it's not like any machine can think. But some machines can think, uh, the ones built out of the stuff we're built out of, at least. So um, the reason he's sort of saying, like, he's got this mechanical view of people is nothing that has to do with anything in this article. This is just a sort of separate view that he and many people have. Uh, we saw Swinburne basically deny this view earlier. Swinburne says we are souls in addition to bodies, not just bodies, not just machines. But according to Searle, we're just machines but we happen to be very special machines, machines that can think. We share this with dogs and cats and other animals. These animals can think, and they're also machines. And the thought is that when you think machine, you often think artificial. Um, but no, there are some sort of naturally occurring machines, and we would be one example of those, because we're just physical, mechanical creatures for Searle. 